And you are looking in on Mike Pettin, one of the uh, legendary coaches. Yeah, you talk about Mike Pettin's career at Central Bucks West. He's in his 32nd year as head coach. Pettin, you're talking about a guy that's won 310 ball games in his career and lost only 42 and is looking for his third championship here in the 90s. Ball at the one-foot line. Hand off Pashadi. Touchdown, Central Bucks West. The run Pashadi wide. One-on-one, -on -one pushing, pushing. Touchdown, oh Central Bucks West. There's Pashadi. First down and more. Goodbye. Here he is, bringing it 20. Pouring it on at the 10, and it's a touchdown. His fifth of the night. The next great player in Pennsylvania. You're looking at him. Pashadi, Jr. Oh. Stud. Bring it down. Mailman, get Keep ready. It. As they count it down for Mike Patton, got his 300 career win, and now a second consecutive state champion. I mean, when you see a football team score on every offensive possession, how rare is that? That's a rarity on, on the level of a perfect game. Uh, Don't be surprised of a year from now that these guys have this on their schedule again. I get the feeling sometimes it's like destiny. Our fans talk about where we're going to go back. We're going to three-peat. That's not the way you play football. Your butts have to make it happen. Make it happen. High school football, the stakes have gotten higher, especially in a place like this, where you win, 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 and win, and uh, people expect it. Community. It's good for the community. It makes everybody feel good in the school. It's got a lot of positive attributes. That's right, Gary, my annual trip to Mecca, so to speak. I am indeed live here in Doylestown in the cafeteria of the two-time defending state champion Bucks of C.B. West. Well, we have some blue-collar and business type, executive type, and mm -hmm. but I mean, we have a pretty good mix. You know, you got to draw on the West tradition. It's the, you look at the West kids, and he's, uh, you know, there's nothing magical in the in the water in the district. Uh, but these kids grow up uh, fanatic about playing for CB West because of the tradition that's been built. You know, one guy left our team, and what did he say? I don't think I'm cut out to play for a championship caliber team. He didn't want the pressure. He didn't want the competition. That's it. Quit now. You're going to quit? I'm not quitting. Well, then get, get in. What are you stopping for? You know, we put pressure on them as coaches. Uh, we run in very intense practices. I don't think you're going to find too many practices more intense Saw. Well, yeah, get out, you know, get out, get out, go read your press clipping. You know, I, I could see if anybody do, deserves to be ranked up there, I mean, coming off the two years that we've had. Everybody's talking about how good we are. Now, if you start believing that stuff, you're going to be in trouble. But we have a great support group and a great community grassroots base. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Marty, how's it going? And again, I'm not so sure that if you were losing, you know, that you'd have that type of uh, support. You know, a lot of it is based, so there's the pressure mm -hmm. to keep it going. Can we do it again? And, uh, but the fans, they just think Mike Patton and me, we're just going to snap our fingers and we're there. Uh, you know, the expectation is so high. You know, it seems the, uh, most of the pieces of the puzzle to have a pretty good team are, are, are there, with the exception of the offensive line. Forget about last year's team, it's your team. If we're going to put a lot of time in on football, and you're going to do well in your studies, then what has to go? Something has to go that the normal student doesn't give up. What is that going to be, Oriel? Social time. Now, is it hard? You guys aren't allowed to party because you guys signed a pledge. Yeah. Now, no one has to disclose. No one just has to talk about how much you guys need. You talk about football is like a family. You cry with these guys, uh, your teammates, you laugh with them. Uh, the closer you are, I think the more you're going to pull for one another, you're not going to let one another down. <clears throat> Does this team have that closeness? I don't know yet. And I've been doing this since uh, football-wise, taking up uh, my the fall of my life since seventh grade as a kid that went to practice every day on the junior high 100-pound team and played every year in high school, in college, and immediately coached, and have coached ever since 1962. 
you know, coaching is teaching. And if you're not teaching kids really essentials of what parents want, you know, this is good time spent for my kid to develop, a boy to become a man, uh, learn teamwork, learn values of discipline, budgeting your time, and hopefully that's what we're doing other than, you know, winning championships. Good is not good enough with him, that's for sure. He's demanding. If you don't do it his way, boy, he can get awful angry. You're the last one out of the huddle. You jog up, get your ass up, and then you don't get down. Why? 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 He just... You're not ready to play. Everybody keep asking, when, when do you think he'll retire? When do you think he'll retire? Uh, I know my dad's uh, close to retirement. I don't know when he's going to get out, but... Uh... He's just so competitive. I would say at least another three or four years. That's the type of guy he is. I don't think the time is right. I just think if he wakes up and, and feels you know, the fire's not there, he's got to get out right away. But the last two years, having played 15 games, by December he was really, truly burned down. Mm -hmm. You know, if he feels he's ready to pass the torch, then you know, we're, I'm, I'm here ready to take it. Uh, now this guy wanted to do something on uh, CB West football. And, you know, he's an independent, nice guy, and I committed to him. And a couple weeks afterwards, it, ESPN calls me. So I said, look, I may give my word to this, this other gentleman. Uh, the guy's going, well, you got to be kidding me. You know, this is ESPN. ESPN. <laughs> so I told him, I said, look, here are some other good teams. We were just talking about North Penn and, you know, father, son. And so a week later, my son calls me. He says, thanks for the leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to get it? So they've been there with cameras rolling. As a, as a coach, you know, they've set the standard in our league, and, and uh, we try to emulate that. I mean, I'll make no, no secret about it. People say, oh, you're so much like C.B. West. And I'll say, thank you very much. I mean, that's a, that's a good compliment as you can pay a, a high school coach. It took me some time, I think, to earn his respect as a coach. I think eventually, you know, after several years of coaching for him, that came. But... Let's go, pay attention. I said dogs a quick end. Flip right on one. Get your head out of your ass. You know, there's there's no there's no room for soft touches in our business. Hey, if he if it's clear he ain't the guy, cut his reps. I ain't gonna live and die with that sucker. Is he asking, well, what is yeah, Poppy? Yeah, Poppy's a pressure. football coach. Yeah, yeah. What is Daddy? You know, Daddy's a football coach. coach. From, uh, and then he'll say, and I be football coach. Obviously, you wanted to develop, uh, you know, boys into men and turn out some good, good character kids. And, uh, but the bottom line, kind of surrounding all of us, you want to be successful. You want to win. And he's he's bright. I mean, he's bright to the point where he would try to cut corners. I mean, he he would just not study for a test and you know ace them and however now his work is nuts and bolts every day you know uh, i'm probably the opposite you know I'm not as smart but uh i had to you know do everything the the hard way to get yeah. it done uh you know i've patterned like i said i've patterned a lot of what we do here after uh, what i did there that was my second game yesterday. Oh, really? I was at Pensbury in the afternoon oh, really? watching my son's game. And then at CB West last night. And the grandkids were at both games, too. I've never seen her, but supposedly she uh, puts her head in her hands. Really? I just figure if I don't look, uh, nothing bad will happen. So I've missed a lot of exciting plays with that philosophy. And we had dated all through high school and through college so that I knew what, what he wanted to do with his life. I, at that point, had no idea the time commitment in coaching. But uh, I learned real fast, and obviously he loves what he does, but he can be very demanding, and he is a perfectionist, so uh, that can be hard to live with sometimes. Yeah, she's kind of an unsung hero. Wiley in the background, I, I think if a coach wants to really make a commitment, and there were a lot of trade-offs, and of course she mentioned some of them, I wasn't around as much as I should have been. And then there were the season, you know, mentally you're just in your little zone, and you don't, you know, focus on 
things that maybe you should, and I think that makes it tough for the wife, and that uh, you know that they often have to uh, suffer the brunt of the, the frustration and even the pressure, even when things are going well. You know, how do people deal with pressure? They yell at their wife. <laughs> That's what they do. Come on now. I'm not that bad. We got this Pachati guy though. He's he's yeah, real good. I, I he's really real good. Drive it hard. Drive it hard. Drive it hard. That's it. Drive your leg. Drive your leg. I realize really what's at stake. I mean, you got all this uh, publicity about the uh, like uh, two state championships and like nobody, nobody this year has experienced a loss at West. So it's kind of thing you don't want to happen. I just pet and told me today, he's up for Gatorade Player of the Year in all the United States. It's down to five guys. Well, Pachati has a chance to start. <laughs> Coach Flaherty, University of Iowa. How you doing, buddy? I'll call you later. Um, Michigan State, Syracuse, uh, Iowa, Georgia Tech, um, even Miami. I've like, like talked to them a couple times. When Mike showed them to me as a ninth grader, he said, he's a Miami guy. Yeah. What's this guy been telling you? Who's this guy? Dustin. Sorry. Nothing. He don't say nothing. Well, don't let him bullshit you. I've never been out of the loop like I have been on this one. I've been calling him. I call him once a week and uh, just say, hey, man, what's up, bro? Not much. He's a little different, isn't he? If you want to be good at something, it just, you can't snap your fingers. If you want to be good over a long run, you really got to get a formula together and a plan and, and stick to it. We start our program in January. That's football here at West. That's CB West. Not that, Gary. Late one tonight. Yeah, I'm not too bad, about the same. I mean, in the off season, during the season, there aren't too many teams in the country who work harder than our kids. Uh, it's, it's really pretty simple in football the way we play it. We're trying to get more people at the point of attack than you have defenders. A lot of, that we do as coaches is a tremendous attention to detail. Mm -hmm. What's supposed to be? One side of a touching. Up more. Bootleg, waggle, reverse, and tread. Now that holds up for red special, 43 monster red, and 44 red. Any questions? But the bottom line, whether it's business or whether it's a football team or a lot of other endeavors, when you pay attention to detail, that's the difference between success or failure. You know, victory or defeat. So what are you doing? Full speed out of control. The sweep, who do you get? You just went and blocked the corner. So we challenge our kids. You better look in the mirror, young man. The talent you have and you're not producing. You said it, pal. If you can't make the plays, I get Cameron in there. Hey, you can't be a nice guy. Football is a tough game. You know, the opponent wants to, at times, humiliate you, beat you up. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's the loosey-goosey after the, oh, the great game. Because your mind isn't on what you got to do. Once you develop that physical and mental toughness, the game may be a, a step down from what these guys have been through the week. That's why they drove down. Guys who are on the bench that should be in the damn game. I need a break. It's like a disease. Suck it up. You, you can uh, draw the conclusion that, uh, hey, you're abusing these kids. And, hey, maybe sometimes we're going over the line. But I, I think if you take a look at all the players that have gone through our program and the feedback that we get, I think overall we've been on the right track. No, I do. I miss that. I miss the, I miss the clipboards on my head. Yeah, I don't do that anymore. You're I tough. Used to, you know, break clipboards. <laughs> You're tough. What are you doing? That big right. sound effect. Didn't yeah. hurt them, right? Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. It just cracked them. Then you yell at me for breaking the clipboard. There's no question. The uh, One of my frustrations when I was up in the CFL was that I had better coaching in high school by far. Can I say something? Yeah. I mean, you guys sitting up there fucking talking to us and shit. I mean, just talking isn't gonna get anyone pumped up. Well, yeah, you guys tell all this us, Dennis, but no, is, I don't see. 
No, I'm talking about like, I mean, I want to see you guys have some intensity. It's just a meeting. We're talking. Sure. Why? Stop laughing. serious. Now, as I mentioned the other day, the only thing we've got so far with this version of CB West football is promise. Do you know how many athletes in the world and teams there are that just have promise and never do much? Okay, we've had a lot of teams in the past at CB West that had promise and didn't do much. Because they were reading their press clippings, they assumed everything good was going to happen. They forgot what it was that it takes to win. Second and one goes to Pachadio off the right side and Dustin goes in for the score. inside, keeps it himself, cuts back inside his left tackle, all kinds of running rooms, 45, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, and DiGiacomo goes in standing up. North Penn blew out Abington. It was 40 to zip at half. And their uh, outstanding running back, Heike Johnson, six touchdowns. Penn's in a different class than everybody else wow. except for us. You don't want to think about them. It's only in September, but I'm already, like in my mind, I know the defenses I'm going to play against them already. I'm already looking at their sets saying, okay, this is how we're going to match up. I'm hurt, dude. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I should be in shorts. I think it started with the kid, with the trainer said uh, he felt he shouldn't practice. The trainer thought he, he could practice. God help the training staff you deal with next year. God bless them. I think there was a little tension there, and you know sometimes when the emotions get into the equation, but uh, but obviously he was upset. Uh, he went home. Chadi's still sick, back, He's back, neck. The other one, it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. He's like inclined. He's cleaning 185 pounds. Like you couldn't incline 30 pounds if you had that back. Yeah, you guys must think you're hearing the same old song and dance every day. You know, there's a level of frustration growing within the team and the staff. It's something I've never seen before in this program. This just goes hand in hand with the way this team is going this year. It's just, it's unlike any team I've been around in, in 25 years. Stop walking away from me when I'm talking to you. Get over here. What? Where were you? Where were you? Somebody tripped me up. You told me to go get water, and I told you that I got seven reps all week. That's always something. Every, with this club, every time you turn around, it's like crisis. It blows my mind with the number four ranked team in the state or in the country, the number one ranked team in the state, and you got guys that just walk around like zombies. You're not going to be a good football team with this type of crap. Like four of our starter guys like opt and quit. Like, what the heck is that about? You know, and they all came back, but it's still like that one guy went to eat. That isn't still a team. Sometimes when like your self-esteem goes down a little bit, you know, I think like it'd be better if you like encouraged me like a little bit and just like I said, yelling at me, just being like, you know, that's a good, that's a good block, but just like do this, that, and that. Because I'm the type of player that like I, I like sort of shut down when people like get in my face and like yell at me, you know, because 
you really you really don't like get the concept of what they're trying to teach you know you're just like seeing that they're like yelling at me rather than somebody calmly like expressing what the problem is you know because then I think you become like a like a better player you know and have more respect for the coach a miraculous uh Came in today, I woke up like I told you in the middle of the night. I'm, I'm just fucking pissed off as I can be. And I'm saying, I'm not going to go another day with this arrangement here. You know, we had a meeting and it was just extremely positive. You know, he basically acted like I, I reacted because of anger and, you know, I thought it over. And I said that in the beginning, me like uh, getting the ball last, which I guess I didn't have a problem with, but uh, I, did, I guess I did have a problem with it, I guess. Because uh, he said, you know, he was really having some problems with issues and didn't know if he was going to play or didn't feel like playing. And... Well, in the beginning of the season, I actually just uh, go out there and like uh, do a lot of stuff, but I mean, it just didn't happen the way I, like, I, I thought it was. You know, so. Early on, they're keen on you. Don't be surprised if I don't get you into it gradually, you know what I mean? I'll just be going in on uh, get your 15. And that is you know, he's very driven by statistics, and I'm going to tell you, it's not unlike a lot of good players. I, don't know. I mean, I like having good stats and stuff. I mean, in the beginning of the season, uh, I didn't think I was getting the carries I should you know, be. But I mean, it just it was a snowball effect. Once his publications, one got a hold of a thing, they all named him All American and everything, and he's got so much to live up to it, that his standard, he doesn't know. He says, "I'm never happy." I get 125 yards, it's just not enough. I told him, like, you know what, well, I had my little, uh, my little uh, incident on, uh, on Monday, and I talked to him, he says that uh, my captain is suspended, I just told him you could have it. I mean, you know, if you're going to have rules, they have to be applied, uh, you know, in an equitable way. And I guess they could say I don't like him, but most of the time I don't like him. I respect him, the coach, really, so I mean, that's, that's all I need, really. You know, over the years you have weeks like this, but uh, thankfully not too many. Pete yeah, Pete, how you been? Good. Man. How are you? Good. You were coaching there too, huh? Weren't you? Yeah. You, you don't have the headaches, believe me. I could uh, enjoy part of this a whole lot, but the headaches are getting to you know it's like the scale that tips, mm -hmm. and it's tipping in favor of a lot of golf. Yeah. <laughs> We ready, guys? Yeah! yeah. 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 You know, if you want to see what motivates most football players in their careers, when they've been benched. Wind up, wind up, and punch! You know, that's the challenge of high school. You can't go out and recruit. Yeah. You get with the junior highs and the middle schools give you. I played for Mike in the 70s. All my brothers did. You know, Coach Carey in particular is a truly outstanding assistant coach. What technique did you come out at? I was at a three. You are not. I was going at a three, the angle is. You can't play for me. Get off the field. Get off, you're too slow. I think Mike and I have a good relationship in that, you know, we, we can be pretty emotional, we're very intense. He stinks at center. You're the worst! And it's gonna hurt your career. My career! Line up! You know, I didn't commit coming back this year until uh, till May. And I've really enjoyed it and I'm glad I came back. And uh, From day one, he certainly was not a yes man. Talk about knowing the blocking schemes. Oh, talk about knowing the blocking scheme? Come on. I know what your back's no, doing. No. Christ, you know, there's a different well, then, front every time. 
Instead of meeting, you better spend most of the time on the board with the defense. I will, Coach. You know, we're shutting them out. Let's get a couple more scores here. A couple more scores? That's just the lineman stop jumping off sides of procedure. That's where it is. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. You didn't Call the 43. West. That's what yeah. we've been in, Coach. Like you're screaming at me. Collect your thoughts. Let's get our thoughts together, everybody, on offense, and get something together. It's just like at the last well, you're minute. You're not blocking anybody. It's like that's what happens. You start grabbing for straws. Uh, I probably would be uh, out just playing golf and doing other things other than football coaching uh, if it weren't for him. I mean, uh, I think we make a pretty good team. Two guys besides my father influenced me the most ever in my life, and it was Mike Pettin and Johnny Majors at, at uh, University of Pittsburgh. So I guess, what did Giacomo, you see everybody else taking a week off? You figure you take a week off too? Oh, sure. Yeah, I'm only putting you on the Giacomo, relax. I don't like that. I don't like that people say that. Well, you're the master stroker, and then you don't like to get stroked, huh? <laughs> the coaches don't give any special to I feel, I mean. Man, you look good. You look good in that position. Hey, what do you keep cheating over for? You know, just because we did well without him for a half, you know, anybody that knows any football realizes when you're talking about a player like that over the long haul, you know, we need his positive contribution game in and game out. Pachotti, good effort on defense. No, it sucks. If Pachotti has my permission to start kicking somebody's ass out there if people aren't blocking for him. Now, Pay attention, there, Dustin. Let's go. He's worrying about all the other bullshit. He, does, he doesn't like to practice on Mondays. Is that part of his contract? Holy shit, what's he squat? You're dealing with a different breed of cat. I got you. Get the rings out right now. You're at a school You're at a school function. You're still part of this is a team meeting here. You, we went through this last week. I look good. Yeah. Better take the earrings off. I gotta look good though. A thousand in bellies if they don't come off. And you can take that to the bank. Why do we have to get into this all the time? I, I told you, so long as you're with a school function. Now, you know, if you want to challenge me at every turn, it's going to. I'm like a uh, dinosaur, <laughs> trying to live in a modern age, I guess. <laughs> and they're like the popular group, and they have their girls, and I mean, I think it's fun, because friends with all of them. <laughs> like, I think it's cool, like, I mean, I guess it's kind of annoying to everybody else. Well, you, you, you got the people off. who like us, and you, you got the weird. haters. Yeah. 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 There's more haters than like, and and there's, there's a lot of haters. Oh, it's overrated, you know? They're not as good as people think. No, they're good. I'm just saying it's not that big a deal. It's over glorified what? sometimes. Seriously. Because it's football, and for some reason, America seems to have a like, obsession yeah. with it, especially since it's high school uh, football. I just think, like, I'll walk into English, like, a minute late, and, like, I'll get yelled at. And then, like, Dennis walks in, like, <laughs> and, like and she's just like, oh, it's okay. <laughs> there, there is definitely an imbalance there. Sure. All the people hate me because they hate me. <laughs> That's a real conceited thing to say. It's true though. They just hate I you because you're a West football fan. Yeah. Is no, because we're all me. fucking classed and stereotyped as fucking, you know, all the Yeah, like fucking meatheads. This is an AP class. There's no football players in here. Huh? <laughs> Do you think football gets too much attention here at West? Yeah! yeah. yeah. We don't even have a pool. Yeah. Lacrosse isn't even a sport at West. Club supports the football team. We raise money, and that's why the boys get everything they do. I think West football is great. I mean, yeah, because some of these guys yeah, yeah. would be like, "This is like the best thing that they'll ever do yeah. in their life." This is yeah. the best member. I really like Dustin. He's a nice kid. He's a cool guy. Okay, well, so, you, you, so you say I set my standards to the most popular kid? Like yes. yes. Like Dustin Pachanis. That he is not star. me. I superstar. don't like him. You have a superstar status. Bro. Yeah, it was. Go Dustin. Just give me it. No! Give me... No, no, no. 
And I just want to know why more managers aren't dating fo the football players. I want to know that. That's what because they don't respect the managers. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Thanks a lot. I'm joking. It's yeah, Cynthia, grab my stuff. Let's go. Oh, Stay four. neutral. Ryan, who's going to win the game? North Penn or CB West? <laughs> I always sit on the west side, and uh, our family kind of divides. Half sit on the North Penn side, and the rest of us sit on the west side. So the satisfaction out of a win would, would be more for joy for my kids that have worked so hard, as opposed to you know teaching the master something. Or, mm -hmm. um, I don't think I can teach him anything. He already knows everything there is to know about football. So yeah. <laughs> I'll be all right after the game, one way or another, so long as I get a hug from the little ones there. I was going to say, That's they right. will always run to you, whether you win or you lose. <laughs> it puts it in Hopefully it's yes. because we win. Come on. I yet thought you were fast. Come on, beat me, beat me. It's like a tranquilizer. Yeah, I have to come away from all these guys giving me these headaches here. <laughs> I got this little kid. He doesn't make any mistakes. He doesn't talk back. <laughs> He's very coachable. <laughs> <laughs>and everything we get along really well but sometimes in football it's brutal well you know he's my blood 
it brought back memories. I coached my brothers, Dan and Jim here, and that was real tough. Fire hips under him. Get under him. Get off him. Get off him. Get to the quarterback. Do it again. That's better. Do it again. Oh, Five up downs right now for that first in the quarterback when you got right. off. Let's go. That's the shit we're not doing. Guys, we're Emotionally stressful every day, knowing going out to like practice with him. Yeah, but Matt Carey, that is just. Have you ever played worse, Matt, in your career? This guy has your number, Carey. He's got to be that all in. That's football here at West. That's CB West. Not that, Carey. You went from an all-league candidate to you're, you're fighting for your job right now, Matt. Yeah, we get in like, pretty bad fights sometimes. <laughs> yeah, last one was like Council Rock week. We didn't talk that whole week up into the East game. Yeah, I wouldn't talk to him either. So, you know, it's mutual. You know, as I got older, it got easier for me to handle, you know, let it go in one year, go out the other. You know, he's only saying it because he loves me and, like, he just wants the best for me. And I know I have. I want people running over me if I'm kicking ass. Now, a couple mats about the only one that's constantly coming to me saying, run over me, run over me. It's a way to concentrate, man. Great concentration. He's basically my dad, you know. Never. Well, he used to go with his dad to practice. He'd travel on the bus with him. Um, when he got big enough, he was a ball boy. And so he was exposed to football from a very early age and always wanted to be a part of it. My approach to him, uh, you know, was, was pretty demanding. And a Virginia defensive back named Mike Petton had three interceptions, including one in the end zone with a minute to go to seal the upset. Yeah. Well, Mike is yeah. so competitive, mm -hmm. but Michael's his son. And he loves his son dearly. And I'll <laughs> tell you what, nobody had a relationship. When Michael played for us at West, it was totally I almost quit because of it. I coached him. Uh, He's uh, very durable, handles pressure, and that's because he had to put up with me. Usually fathers are tougher on their sons when they coach them than the other players. They don't want to show favorites. And I think you're more inclined to take out a frustration on someone that's a family member versus uh, someone who isn't. He would get critiqued in the car, going into the house at the dinner table. <laughs> And uh, any time I could, you know, grab him, so he, he found his way to a room and, you know, locked the door. Uh, senior and I were coming home and, and uh, you know, having arguments at the dinner table that she stepped in right away and said, either the football goes or I go. Uh, things quieted down after that. But this guy here is not, uh, not a dumb one. He, we would just, he would just pull the car over before we got home and let me have it then. Is he as good a grandfather as he is a coach? Definitely. I'll uh, reserve judgment on the father part, but grandfather, yes, definitely. I was especially a tough one. You know, if I had to do it over again, I, I'd take a different approach. A few things withstanding, like to raise my kids pretty much the same way. <laughs> I had to qualify. Not that. too many trips to the woodshed. <laughs> He's been talking about retiring, I think, for the last 10 years. Every year is his last year, but then come spring, he never makes that decision final. He said, you know, I wouldn't make that decision final, but the way I'm feeling now is this will be my last year. Okay. And then he comes back the next year, and the next year, and the next year. He'll know when it's time. Yeah, you heard Bachati. I know you know about that already, probably, right? You know, Bachati opened his mouth. Classic Bachati. He's like, yeah, they saw. The only, reason they beat, he's like, the only reason they beat teams is, you know, because uh, we played a team the week before and we kicked the shit out of them and they just don't want to play the next week, so, you know, I don't, think that, I, don't think, I don't even think we should have to play them. And Dustin was like, I'm shitting on your team, I'm going to shit on their field, I'm going to shit on their coaches. I'm gonna... So that all got back to their whole team. Hey, Dustin! Come here a minute. What did you tell the ES ESPN guys here that day when they were asking you about North Penn? I mean, what did you <laughs> say anything? You didn't say anything. You didn't bad mouth North Penn, I hope. No, I, I was one of those moods where I didn't really care. Yeah. I'm like, oh, so uh, what do you think about uh, two weeks? Uh, I'm just so joking. Him. Pichotti's ugly. <laughs> That's why I don't like him. Mike's ugly. ugly. Oh, I heard they're talking some mad shit. Well, we got their number. They're solid. All right, bullet board material. You're going to talk to a lot of press. Now, I understand, Pachati, you've already given these guys all kind of bulletin board material. Evidently, the CB West tradition 
doesn't mean much. You know, we preach for years, keep your mouth shut. Now maybe you're one of the few that can back it up, okay? But you're, you're, your ass is, you're a marked man. It's fun, it's exciting, but it's also very difficult. Mm -hmm. And now that they've played three times and West has won three times, does it get you feeling, gosh, I hope Michael wins one, one game? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to say, if Michael's team does win, I think his father will be happy for him because I think it's very hard for him knowing that his son's on the other side. Yeah. So I think his dad would, don't you think he would have it? I think he would be fine with it. I think he would be all ready. <laughs> <laughs> like I know a part of him would be very proud of Michael if that does indeed happen. And I think w whichever team advances, the other family, Michael's family were at all the playoff games and at the state championship game and, and if the positions are reversed, Mike and I will be at every playoff game and hopefully the state championship game uh, supporting them. Hey, she wants Junior to be successful, but maybe after I retire. Uh, you know, you couldn't have written a script any better. Junior's pumped up! Well, he should be pumped up. I was there yesterday. What the? Uh, I was there. He's going he to shock the world, man. How do you, do you live and die during these games? What do you do to uh, keep yourself in check? I don't handle it well, I have to admit. What about this week, Joyce? What, what goes on the week of the game? Well, I think both coaches purposely avoid each other this week. There may be a conversation or two over the phone, but um, there are no family get-togethers this week. It's all business. It's all business. There you go, Pachati. What kind of bull crap is that? You're closing down when there's no need to close down. Over here, Servi. Shake the rust off. Listen. Beep, 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 beep. You know, putting you on that guy is like uh, sending a poodle away after a German shepherd. Okay, Clay, run it again. You didn't set your feet. You threw it off your back foot, and then you give me that stupid look. If that's wide open and you overthrow it, you better go for the damn nearest exit. You, know, you get the feeling that, uh, you know, I, I get it today. You know, they, hey, they've had their success. Uh, you know, whether you want to call us the new kids on the block or, or whatever, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. I mean, we feel like it's our turn. You try and pretend like it's just another game, but it really, it's the season for both of them. But I was quite a celebrity. Uh, the hospital today where I volunteer, uh, everyone coming in the gift shop, oh, I saw your picture in the paper. It was pretty exciting. Uh, yeah, it was funny. Junior called me up today and he, uh, he said to me, well, uh, here's your starting lineup. And he started naming guys. But he, he named exactly who was going to start. He was trying to play little mind games with me. I feel like I get keyed on a lot of him. Yeah, well, I mean, I know they're going to be probably hunting for me this game, you know. Yeah. I mean, I've made some obscene cow mats. You know, yeah. Just joking around, but it's fine, man. I don't really care too much. I plan on giving out the punishment. Normally, I wake up like about 4, 4.30 and come down. And, you know, it works out because I'll have a cup of coffee and, you know, the, the paper comes about 4, one of them anyway. But two was like, okay, what do I do here? You know, I wanted to go back to bed. Well, <laughs> I got the North Penn scouting report, so... No, I still have a lot to do. They took a lot of trash, yeah. I said, we can't curse on here, can we? Sure. Oh, I said, we're going to bust their ass, yo. Sure. Okay. okay. Tonight is the game of the year. Many people saying the game of the century, even a few, the game of the millennium. It's North Penn, Central Bucks West. It's for all the marbles. The big game of the state this year, they're coming from everywhere. New York, West Virginia, all over. It's coming down to us right here. One, three, kick ass. One, two, three, kick ass! 
I've had some alumni come in and tell me, I watch your team this year. You don't seem to have a lot of guys that really want to mix it up. And West football lives on mixing it up. Bring five deep around the stadium. Unbelievable. Maybe we can see a shot later on of just how deep it is. It must be eight to 10,000 people here tonight, Tom. Well, Beasley, to call this game a big game is a major understatement. Tonight's battle is a battle between two of Pennsylvania's football superpowers. Both undefeated teams going for a league title, father versus son. The subplots are almost endless in this one. Everyone is talking about this game. You know, there's not going to be a halftime to turn this thing around if you let yourself get knocked out of it early. Take it to them early. Start with the kickoff. All right. One, two, three. Woo! It is a high, short kick, and it will be taken by Aaron Thomas at about the 25-yard line. Cuts to his left side. It is a handoff to Johnson. He's got nothing. Angelo Polino on the tackle. Uh, let's run an eye blast at the suckers. Give me, uh, I want top power left, waggle left. Again, the power eye look. And it's a keeper rolling left. I mean, wide, wide open. It's Ted Kenyon. And it's a touchdown. Take a watch, Wes. Shot. He's a five, he's in! Touchdown! Dustin Pichotti! We're kicking their ass! We're kicking their ass! And the Bucks go on to a 13-0 lead. Tell you what, Kukla's still down. He took a shot after he threw that ball. I know Mike Benton Jr. is holding his breath right now. And now we're in the half. The mighty Bucks of Central Bucks West can't go to the halftime locker room lead. 14 to nothing. I'm doing good. We gotta come out and score right away. My great defense. You gotta keep it up. Now we got the ball in the second half. We can break their backs with another score. Now you played a great first half. How much do you want in the second half? You want it a lot. <laughs> Pass off play action. Got a lot of time. Throws the ball deep. He's got a man down field. It's caught by Aaron Thomas. And he's inside the 10 yard Let's go, Wes. Who's got it? Uh, second and goal at the five yard line. Takes the ball on a keeper. He's to the three. He's in. Touchdown. Mark Pick it up, guys. Go, go, go. Come on. We've tried a lot of weapons, and some of them aren't going too well. But I'm going to, I'm going to go with the, with, with the one that's reliable, with the one that's effective, with the big gun. Hand up goes to Pichotti. He's got five. He's got six. He's got seven. He's got ten. Oh, Dustin Pichotti with a great run. Oh, Dustin Pichotti was stopped. He was stopped cold. And Pichotti makes it happen. He gets the ball close. Yeah, he's got the first down. They have been hitting, hitting, hitting. This game has lived up to every bit of the hype. Three, five, three, and four, melt the clock. Six, seven, to melt the clock. Seven forty-five to go in regulation. Big defense. That will be your ball game. Tough. Hopefully we'll take care of business. We'll see you in a couple weeks. <laughs> all right, just win the next one, all right? Central Arts West wins the Suburban One Championship, Suburban One National Championship. They will go into the playoffs, the number one seed in the state. Uh, it's very bittersweet. You know, I'm proud of my team. I So when uh, I could finally get to him and just hug him and tell him that I loved him and he, 
played a great game and I was really proud of him. Uh, he was a little choked up and I was, I guess, because I was, it, but he just hugged me really tight and I could just feel the pain that, that he was feeling and that just took the joy out of the win for me. I was so high one minute and then just... And you said something about it's a rematch in two weeks. If they win that one, then he has a shot at West the second time. And uh, I'm not looking forward to that, but if it means they continue to play another week, I'm all for it. So enjoy this fantastic victory under a lot of pressure. A physical game and you won a physical battle. So go upstairs, see your parents, enjoy it, be congratulated. Dustin came up big, you know, in key situations, there's not another player I'd trade him for in the country. I mean, some of the runs he had was unbelievable, you know. I mean, they were holding on the ball, he was dragging people. I mean, he's the top dog. That's all I got to say about that. What is that going to be, Oriel? Social time. Now, is it hard? You guys aren't allowed to party because you guys signed a pledge. Yeah. Now, no one has to disclose. No one just has to talk about how much you guys need. You talk about football is like a family. You cry with these guys, your teammates. You laugh with them. The closer you are, I think, the more you're going to pull for one another, you're not going to let one another down. <clears throat> Does this team have that closeness? I don't know yet. And I've been doing this since uh, football-wise, taking up uh, my the fall of my life since seventh grade as a kid that went to practice every day on the junior high 100-pound team and played every year in high school, in college, and immediately coached and have coached ever since 1962. You know, coaching is teaching. And if you're not teaching kids real the essentials of what parents want, you know, this is good time spent for my kid to develop, a boy to become a man, uh, learn teamwork, learn values of discipline, budgeting your time, and hopefully that's what we're doing other than you know, winning championships. Good is not good enough with him, that's for sure. He's demanding. If you don't do it his way, boy, you, he can get off on it. Throwing them as coaches. Uh, we run in very intense practices. I don't think you're going to find too many practices more intense. That's still soft. Well, yeah, get out. You know, get out. Get out. Go read your press clipping. You know, I, I could see if anybody do, deserves to be ranked up there. I mean, coming off the two years that we've had. Everybody's talking about how good we are. Now, if you start believing that stuff, you're going to be in trouble. But we have a great support group and a great community grassroots base. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Marty. How's it going? And again, I'm not so sure that if you were losing, you know, that you'd have that type of uh, support. You know, a lot of it is based. So there's the pressure to keep it going. Can we do it again? And, uh, but the fans, they just think Mike Patton and me, we're just going to snap our fingers and we're there. Uh, you know, the expectation is so high. You know. so it seems the uh, most of the pieces of the puzzle to have a pretty good team are, are, are there, with the exception of the offensive line. Forget about last year's team. It's your team. If we're going to put a lot of time in on football and you're going to do well in your studies, then what has to go? Something has to go that the normal student doesn't give up. And on Mike Patton, one of the uh, legendary coaches. Yeah, you talk about Mike Patton's career at Central Bucks West. He's in his 32nd year as head coach. Patton, you're talking about a guy that's won 310 ball games in his career and lost only 42 and is looking for his third championship here in the 90s. Ball at the one foot line. Hand off Pashati. Touchdown, Central Bucks West. The run Pashati wide. One on one, pushing, pushing. Touchdown, oh Central Bucks West. There's Pashati. First down and more. Goodbye. Here he is, bringing it 20. Pouring it on at the 10, and it's a touchdown. His fifth of the night. It's the next great player in Pennsylvania. You're looking at him. Pashati, Jr. Oh. 
stud. Mailman, get ready. He's As they count it down for Mike Patton, got his 300 career win, and now a second consecutive state champion. I mean, when you see a football team score on every offensive possession, how rare is that? That's a rarity on, on the level of a perfect game. Don't be surprised of a year from now that these guys have this on their schedule again. And you are looking in. I get the feeling sometimes it's like destiny. Our fans talk about where we're going to go back. We're going to three-peat. That's not the way you play football. Your butts have to make it happen. Make it happen. High school football, the stakes have gotten higher especially in a place like this, where you win, 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 and win, and uh, people expect it. The community, it's good for the community. It makes everybody feel good in the school. It's got a lot of positive attributes. That's right, Gary, my annual trip to Mecca, so to speak. I am indeed live here in Doylestown in the cafeteria of the two-time defending state champion Bucks at CB West. Well, we have some blue collar and business type, executive type, and, mm -hmm. but I, we have a pretty good mix. You know, you've got to draw on the West tradition. It's you look at the West kids, and he's, uh, you know, there's nothing magical in the in the water in the district, uh, but these kids grow up uh, fanatic about playing for CB West because the tradition that's been built. You know, one guy left our team, and what did he say? I don't think I'm cut out to play for a championship caliber team. He didn't want the pressure. He didn't want the competition. That's it. Quit now. You're gonna quit? I'm not quitting. Well, then get, get in. What are you stopping for? You know, we put pressure.